Good day. Welcome to this presentation on translating verbal expressions. I'm just going to do a few examples for you. But uh, translating verbal expressions. Basically what that means is we've got this, these words. And we're going to write a mouth problem out of them. So all we're doing. Not solving them. Not doing any calculations. Matter of fact, you don't even need your calculator for this. So let's get started. A number increased by 9 is 30. Is 39. So, you know, increase, that's an add word. So, we don't know what the number is, so we're going to write a variable. X increased by 9 is 39. So, it's all we're doing with these problems. So, you got twice in, be 2n, right? Or if you want, you could do 2 times n. Either way, it's kind of what I look for in class. But, I count that answer. The sum. Sum's another add word. It's the sum of 8 and 11. That's it. 8 plus 11. 2 times 6. You do 2 parentheses 6. Or you can do 2 times 6. Or 2 times 6. Or 2 times 6. This is preferred right here. And then move it on. You got 18 less than n. So some people find this tricky because they'll want to do 18 minus n. That is not correct. What you do is I always like to think about the main number we're working with. You know, here's n, right? Because we're doing something with n. You know, so n's the main character of the story. Well, we're going to take less. We're going to take 18 away from it, right? So 18 less than n would be n minus 18. Here you got n more than 11, so you take, you're going to take your n plus 11. At this point, some people are always going to think you should. You know, they're going to ask, "Am I always going to write my variable first? No, not necessarily. So just make sure that you read the problem. You know, know what's being asked. Because they could have said, well, let's look at 5 another way. They could have did n less than 18, right? Well, if they did that, that would be 18 minus n. So these less than problems, this number here is going to go first. This number here is going to go second. And if you're adding, you know, like we're adding here, right? doesn't matter. Subtraction, though, that's kind of tricky. All right, uh, I'm going to do 7, 8, 9, and 10, and that'll close out this video here. So a number, we don't know what the number is, do we? Times 5 is equal to 37. So that's all we're doing, x times 5. What you're going to want to do for algebra is write it this way. That's what an A algebra, an a algebra student will write it this way. A B, C, or student may write it this way. An F student wouldn't even try it at all. A number, ooh, a number. So it's going to be X, right? Plus, just means add, 6 is 5. So you got X plus 6 is 5. Then you got 29 minus a number. So remember, I said whatever goes here goes first when you write it as your mouth problem. A number, 29 minus a number. Well, I said that wrong, didn't I? You just write this one just like it's written. 29 minus a number. So once again, 29 minus a number, right? So it's important to read so you don't make a mistake like I just did. D less than 30, right? So you got D less than 30. Is that right? What do you think? Or would you do 30 minus D? You see the difference here? Just because D less than 30. So let's just think about this so you don't make a mistake later. We're saying we've got 30, and we're going to take D away from it. We don't know what D is. So that's wrong, like I said earlier. So remember, 30 
minus D. That wraps up this video. I've got 30 more problems that you can do on the uh, PDF file if you want. That That's at uh, algebraclassnotes.com under translating verbal expressions. And I've got the answer key for you. Good luck.